We are going to learn about the button widget in Android Studio. A button is a clickable widget that can be pressed by the user to perform an action. Button is a subclass of text view class and compound button is a subclass of button class. On a button, we can perform different actions or event like click event, press event, and touch event. Later, in the next videos, we are going to learn about the handling click events of the button. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. Okay, so Android buttons are GUI components which are sensible to taps clicks by the user. When the user clicks on the button in Android app, the app can respond to this click. And this is what is known as event, event handling. Now, how to create a button? I will remove this edit text that we have created in the previous video. I will keep only one and I will go and drag and drop here in the first way in the button section, a button. So I will click, drag and drop, a button. I will connect its constraint to this one. If we go to the XML in the code, <clears throat> we have created the button. We use here, I'll press enter, missing constraint. Android with Android height. Margin top is 80. This is for the constraint layout and the text. I can change it by click me. So the app will be display a button that it is having a text with click me. Okay. This is how we can change the attributes. Also, you can get Android. I can change the color. <clears throat> like color or background color. <clears throat> background, I can make it as black. Background black. Or can I can change the text, text color to black. You see, guys? And there are many attributes. As I told you, it, it inherits the same attributes of the text of use. So Android, all of these can be accessible and be editable to your own customization, okay? You can play with these codes, you can check them, you can, uh, you, you can, work with them. I can change with the font family. I can make it uh, like sans serif. Okay, you see the font have been changed. And so, so this is how we create the button in Android Studio by changing, by creating a tag a button like this. Button, the width, the height, Match parent, match wrap content. ID, I will make an, uh, a button two called button two. And so on. I will not use it. I'm just showing you how to create a button two. Okay. So this is the button two. I'm using the visual editor here just because I didn't uh, lecture about the constraint layout. So later on, we will lecture about the constraint layout and uh, know why we are doing this and what are these connections and these dots. Okay, but till now, I need to concentrate with me about the buttons. <clears throat> also, in the same way, I can 
design the button by clicking on it I need to design this button so I can go to here with the attributes and I can change all of these attributes so you see guys it was no deal I can go to here and change all of these attributes and add attributes okay uh, auto text background size I will change the size I will make it as a scrolling down text size I will make it as 34 so you see guys it have been increased in size and so you can play all of these attributes you can check them okay guys now the most important part going to the codes so I remove them these are from the previous lecture I need to get the button button we start by defining button v1 equal to new or sorry equal to find new by id r dot id dot button okay here if I click on it its ID is button or if I go go to the code it would be the button here see the ID is button so alt plus enter to import the class so if we go up we have imported the package android.widget.button now b1 if the user click on this b1 what we need to make we need to make the event handling so event handling and this is we will see it in the next video but before we move to the next video i need to remember you that i can make the customization of any button here from the java code so the main activity i can edit this button change its text color its uh, uh, background its size its shape from the attributes so b1 also i have b2 because i need to find view by id r dot id dot button 2 i will customize button 2 so it would be set text um what I need to make, I will uh, check or uh, say hello. Say hello. B two dot set text color to color dot red. So if I click on this. If I run the app, I would see the results. If you want to learn Android app development, go to Udemy and search for Android. You will get my course as a bestseller course, the complete Android 12 developer course, Mastering Android. Click on it. You are you're gonna learn how to build 60 apps from scratch with rating 4.4 and the bestseller. And this course is about 86 hours on video demand. Okay, covering all the topics with 47 sections and about 40, 463 lectures at the, at the time of uh, recording this video. So we are expanding this course and we are adding new tutorials every week. So are you ready to become a professional developer with this course? Join now. I have customized the button number two in Java. So you see guys, it is say hello, the text has been changed and it is in red. So if I go to the main layout, 
main uh, activity main layout I would see no results because these are being applied during running the app and while compiling the app if I if you see guys I can click on this I can click on this and this is the button in Android studio in the next video we will see how to make the event handling and the and allow the user to press on it and make an action so we will make this app functional and this uh, button would be